everybody. So as promised in my last video, um, I showed everybody uh, this new, I guess, thing that I got in a haul. And I decided I would show, I guess, my process video for it. Um, this is also a video response to Cindy for kiddos. She is having a giveaway. And uh, you have to make, for her challenge giveaway, you have to make some... I want to say quote unquote resin pieces there or molded pieces um, and you need to show her the mold and the actual pieces that you make so while I'm doing this I figured I'd go ahead and make the video um, as a video response for her challenge giveaway so let me turn the camera down so you all can see what I've done <laughs> and I've been playing a lot I actually am going to break out the melting pot um, I have a melting pot from Ranger um, and some uh, UT. I have not done that yet, but this is the product that I'm using. Um, Scrapanology showed a video on this um, new product from Mod Podge or from Plaid, and it's these, um, they call it mold, I'm sorry, mod melts. And this is called the Milk Glass White Color. It comes in this white stick. And it comes in a, um, sorry for all the wrinkling, crinkling, a um, beach glass clear. See, you can see that. It looks like a glue stick, and it acts like a glue stick in a way. So I have my um, high temperature heat gun. This is an extra one that I have. I actually had a glue stick in it, and I backed it out and let the glue kind of dribble out the um, tip. And you can see here, this is kind of like my first piece that I did, which is a mix of the glue stick and um, one of the molds I used. What you're seeing here, these are Martha Stewart molds um, that I got while they were on sale at Michael's. I have some of these molds, or quite a few of these molds, and I also have these Wilton molds. These are for cake decorating. So, um, Cindy, um, just so you know, I have a lot of molds. They're either going to be Wilton molds or they're going to be Martha Stewart molds because I think those are the ones that I have, and I have a couple of different ones. And so um, all I did was um, put the um, <clears throat> Mod Melt, and these are I've, I've only done the uh, Milk Glass White ones just because... Uh, I wanted to see how they came out, and I just had so much fun doing it. There's quite a few molds that are still um, waiting to be unmolded, and I can show you some of the pieces. Um, here's a rose, and this is the mold that it comes from. So um, you can tell that I'm not a perfect person on this side. You don't see this side anyway. Um, so if you're going to put it on a project, it'll be flat. And this is a rose, so that you can see how that came out. And it doesn't have anything on it. You can paint these. So, Cindy, when I send you these, I'm just going to send you as a the white because I prefer that, you know, you be the one to decide what color they should be so that you can coordinate them with your projects. Um, I'm going to try out a couple of different um, painting techniques on the ones that I have, and, and I don't want to you know, send you ones that are already painted. So here's here's a rose. Um, and I got a couple of other flowers, so let me just bear with me because I have some that I unmolded earlier. And so here's some more flowers. Um, there's a couple, I mean, you can kind of tell which ones are related to the others. Um, let me see. Here's one of the molds for what I'm showing in my left hand. Okay, and this is a Martha Stewart mold. Then here is the other mold that I used. Um, and you can kind of see what that looks like. Again, another Martha Stewart mold. So these, these are some more pieces that I did. And I bought this um, Pearl X um, to use um, as a possibly colorant for it. And actually I haven't tried it yet. Let me go ahead and try it on camera with you all. And I'm going to use a brush, or actually maybe I'll use my finger to just highlight it. I don't want it to get everywhere, so I'm trying to be very careful. 
So here's the color, as you all can see, and I'm just going to rub my finger in it and then um, take a bit and put it on one of these flowers that I just unmolded. Let me try this one. So I'll do it on camera so you can kind of see the texture. It does have a lot of the texture that comes from the mold. And I don't know how well this will stick because, of course, I've never tried this. So you can see the white showing through. And I'm assuming if I want to paint this whole thing one color, I could. I'm just using my finger, so it's not that great of a tool. But I wanted to show you that if you rub it, obviously, with some colorant, that the the mold comes through and you can see all of that in there. And then of course you can see these raw edges. You need to cut that with scissors and I'll do that um, to clean it up after I'm I'm done playing. <laughs> so that's what it looks like with the Perlex. And this Perlex comes, I, I want to say there was 12, 12 different colors I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, there's 12 colors in one package. I got them at Michael's. You can buy the Ranger um, brand uh, brand of a similar product um, but I went with this because you get more in a package more colors in a package and they have they had two series at the Michaels that I went to so this one just has a lot of the um, gold toned silver toned and uh, white sort of finish on it and I can I may go back and get the other one too because the other one had greens and blues and then this was there's two kind of reddish colors and a bronze in there so this is really turning out better than I expected um, so I'm gonna try a couple of different techniques on coloring these and um, so yeah so that is a couple more pieces and let me unmold some more things in front of you um, this is a cameo it's a rose cameo and it's a Martha Stewart mold I'm going to try not to get my, hold on one second, let me get a baby wipe out and clean my hands off so I don't get this all over the other pieces that I'm about to unmold, if I can get a baby wipe out. Bear with me, please. This is probably why I don't do process videos, because I'm not prepared enough. <laughs> okay. Let me move my glue gun back. And what you're seeing, the, the pink mat behind these molds, Mod Podge um, sells a mat for $10. It's a big mat. And let me move the camera a little bit so you can see it. Um, there's the mat. Um, and I put it down just so I didn't mess up my, my cutting mat. Especially since I'm going to be using the um, melting pot pretty soon. Okay, so these come right out of the mold, and here is the rose. Um, here's the um, mold. Oh, it looks beautiful. And I'll just have to clean up the sides because I didn't, um, you know, go over it with too too much um, um, care there. But I'll cut out the sides with my scissors. Oh, that's so beautiful. So there's a cameo, and then I have a picture frame. Uh, let me make sure that this is dry. Let me wait on this one because I just did this one. You have to wait 10 minutes, it says, to do this. And these are some stars. So let me do the stars because I think they'll pop right out. There's a star. I've got a couple of them in here. And here's a bigger one. Oh, pretty. So there's a star. I've got a butterfly. I don't know if you can see that. There's a butterfly. These are again Martha Stewart molds. All of the smaller molds are Martha Stewart molds. And then the larger ones are Wilton. Except for this one with the letters. Um, so this has a branch, a bird, a flower, and a leaf. So here's the leaf. Here is, a, this is a cherry blossom, I believe. Oh, that's so pretty. 
And then this is a leaf, smaller one. And then here's a branch. And I can handle these pretty well. They're kind of, uh, I want to say they're kind of flexible, similar to how when you pull out a glue stick, how that feels. It's the same sort of flexibility um, to them. And so here's a branch. And let's see, a couple more flowers. Oh, these are not flowers. These are kind of like, um, I want to say they're like rosettes, sort of. They don't really look like medallions. That's the word I'm looking for. Medallions. And I really have to clean that one up. So there's that. Let me pull these out. There's this one. And there's this one. So here's the mold. And here's... They kind of look like buttons, too. So, if you can imagine. Um... Let me go ahead and do the frame. I think that should be ready now. So here's the frame. Oh, there you go. So again, I'll just have to cut that with my scissors, but you get the idea. So that's really pretty. It's white. So if you wanted to use it as white, you could. Or you, again, you can paint this um, with different mediums. And here's a few more. These were really cute because they're two birds that are facing each other. So here's one. And then here's the other. Oh, so cute. And then this one's just a little pattern piece. And then here's a heart. Oh. So cute. Here's another heart. Doing this on camera is a lot of fun. Smaller one. And then here's a leaf. Um, got a couple of more. Here is another flower. This is, this just looks definitely like a cherry blossom to me. More so than the other one did. And then here's another small one. I didn't want to do some of the bigger ones because I don't know what I would do with them just now. There's some border ones on here. They're so pretty. That's one of the reasons why I got these molds. I didn't intend to use this with my melt art, my melting pot. I just never did, and this was a little bit faster. So here's another butterfly. And this is going very quickly. This one is a florish, I think, and it's in the shape of a heart, similar to this one right here, but it's bigger. Let's see. There we go. And then there's this little flourish down here. These are pretty deep. I like these um, Wilton molds. Um, and then there's the letters, and I don't know if these are ready to go yet. I'm going to wait on these just because um, I just did those. So yeah, this is my video response and I hope you like what you see. And Cindy, I'll be sending you a couple of pieces and I just said um, I'm probably just going to send it to you in the plain white just so that you can decide what color you want these to be or if you want to just use them as white, you can do that as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.